All right, here we are at Hankster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. I'm John Oaks, and I'm going to go over this Camaro here for you that you see sitting beside me. This is a 1968 Chevrolet Camaro. This is an RS Camaro. You can tell that in part by the front end. The front grille got the RS front end on it. The hideaway headlights, which is kind of a tall tale, uh, you know, item that the RS cars have. But again, everything else that goes along with it is, is present as we go over this. So, Le Mans Blue, you see it's got the black bumblebee nose stripe here on the front of it, along with all of your emblems. You've got your Camaro script emblems front and back, all of your RS emblems on the front grill, on the sides, the fenders here, and then also on the gas cap. The, uh, our car's got the front air dam on it. Um, it's also got chrome front and rear bumpers. All the bright work on this car, the wheel lip moldings, your rocker panel trim here, drip rail moldings. Again, as you can see, all of that is done in the bright. Um, you've got the driver side mirror here, and then you can see your gaps here as far as your door goes. Front and rear gaps, very uniform on this door here. The elevations are dead on too. Again, when I'm looking at the front fender, the door, and the quarter panel, they all run in a nice line the whole way down. You don't see the door hanging out anywhere at all, nice and flush with everything there. Rally Sport emblems, 350 emblems on this car as well. We'll get to that whenever we get to the engine, we'll talk about that. As you can see on our car here, we do have a set of aftermarket wheels. These are the Kreger SS Chrome Steel Wheels, 15 inch in size. And again, the Cooper Cobra radial GT tires on the, the uh, wheels there. Again, all the tread is in good shape. We'll open up our door and take a look inside. You'll notice our car has the black vinyl interior, front bucket seats, factory dash, factory instrumentation, including the 120 mile an hour speedo and the fuel gauge. It's got a custom auto sound AM, FM uh, radio in there, along with the factory heater controls. Nice factory automatic center console in there also with the horseshoe shifter. This car also has front and rear seat belts to it as well. We'll close our door up. Door shuts nice. Glass all fits in there very, very nice. All of your rubber trim, the weather stripping all up around is all in good shape. Now again, this car has the black vinyl top. And we always want to check around the edges here. Everything is nice and smooth the whole way through the drip rail, through the rain gutter, um, and then even around the trim here down at the bottom. Nice and smooth. You do not see, feel any bumps whatsoever. Glass is all in great shape too. There's no chips, no cracks whatsoever. As we come back here to the rear of the car now, you can see our trunk lid fits very, very nice. You've got the gaps the whole way around, very uniform. Elevations with the rear quarter panels are very nice too. On this car you see it's got the blacked out rear tail panel, the RS gas cap, again that chrome rear bumper, and with the RS it's got the correct RS rear lower balance here with the correct RS backup lights as well. That rear glass is in good shape too. No chips or cracks in that either. We're going to go ahead and open our trunk lid up show you inside. So with the trunk open, first off the springs hold the trunk up as they should. The in underside of that trunk painted the same Le Mans blue as the exterior of the car. All of your weather stripping around the trunk is in great shape. Comes together right in the center. Trunk pan itself is in good condition. Uh, all solid. Got the drain plugs in it. And again, the black and aqua trunk spatter paint that this would have had from the factory. We'll go ahead and close this up. Closes nice and e uh, easy also. As we work, walk our way around the uh, passenger side now, all of our side marker lights, the, uh, the bezels and the lenses, those are all in great shape too. Uh, again, you can see all of your bright work here, the belt moldings too, all of your glass on this side. Again, the uh, gaps and elevations here on the passenger side door, same as the other side. They match up very, very nice. We're going to go ahead and open this door up, take a quick peek in from this side. Again, carpeting is in great shape, seat upholstery is in good shape. I don't see any rips or tears or anything like that. No fading in the carpeting either. Uh, again, you'll notice all of your weather stripping there the whole way around. All looks in great shape. 
close our door up, that closes up nice. Again, you've got both side mirrors here and the, the chrome here. But also, a Rally Sport emblems down here. And again, we come up to the front where you see that 350 emblem. So again, around the front here, you've got that black RS grill. You've got the RS emblem right in the center. Chrome front bumper. You've got the black air dam down underneath. Now, as far as your hood goes, this is a steel two-inch cowl induction hood. Fits really nice here. Again, those are functional cowl. Again, it's going to pull the air from the back of the, the hood there and pull it down through the air cleaner. We're going to open our hood up now, and then we'll get to talk about the engine. So as you can see, hood latch works really well. Underside of the hood, all painted same as the exterior of the car. Now sitting underneath the hood, this is a 350 cubic inch small block Chevrolet engine. Now again, you'll notice on air cleaner, it's got the 327 decal, but again, that is just the air cleaner. This is a 350 cubic inch motor. It is, uh, it's got the uh, quick fuel technologies Slayer carburetor. It's got electric choke on it. HEI distributor or ignition, eight millimeter plug wires, dart aluminum intake, it's got a set of aluminum heads on this also, so you can tell it's it's a, a built, you know, 350. Dart chrome valve covers with the breathers there. All of your heater lines are hooked up. Nice aluminum radiator there to help cool everything down. It's got a uh, steel four blade fan on it, so that's gonna cool down things nicely for you. It's got aluminum pulleys on it, power brakes, power steering, and the brakes on this car are front disc and rear drums. Now behind this engine, you've got the transmission. It is a power glide automatic transmission. And then to complete the drive line, you have a 10 bolt GM rear end in it. Um, it's the big 10 bolt too, the eight and a half inch ring gear. So good sturdy rear end underneath this car. And that's pretty much it for underneath the hood. Again, nice driving car here. Beautiful exterior, nice interior on it. We're going to get this on the lift for you next because, again, the underside, just as nice as the top side here. Floors and everything all painted. So we'll get this up in the air and take a look at that next. All right, here we are underneath our 1968 uh, Camaro RS here. We're going to go through the underside here, uh, talk about the steering suspension, the floors, drive line, wheels, tires, all that stuff. So starting at the front of the car, Obviously, all of the front suspension here is the stock stuff. You've got your stock front cross member, stock upper and lower control arms. All of the ball joints on those control arms are all in great shape. They've been greased. They look to be maintained very, very well. As far as the steering, all your stock steering components, your tie rods here, ball joints on both ends, on both tie rods are all in great shape. You've got the little rubber dust boots that are all intact. None of them are split. That's gonna keep the grease in, keep the dirt out. Now, as far as that steering, it is power steering. We also have power brakes in this car. It's got disc brakes up front, so just typical GM stuff. You can get this from any auto parts store if you need rotors or if you need brake shoes. There you go. As far as the rear brakes on the car, it is your typical drum brake on the rear. And again, like I said, that is power brake, power steering. Now, as far as our drive line goes here, we do have a small block Chevy here up front. Uh, we've got that backed up with a power glide automatic transmission. Now, the oil pans on both the engine and the transmission are nice and dry the whole way around. No drips or leaks to speak of. Transmission even has the plastic cover here for your flywheel so you don't get any dirt or debris in there and possibly chip a tooth on that flywheel. As far as your subframe goes, here you can see super nice, nice and straight. It's never been dinged up or anything. All of your body mount bushings, those are in great shape too. Obviously, you can see the floors on this whole entire car painted the same color as the car, that Le Mans blue. Pinch welds are in great shape. Rockers on both sides are in great shape also. And as you can see, you've got all new fuel line run the whole way back to the tank. You've got all new brake lining to run too, and it has that spiral wrap on it to keep it from kinking on your bends. Uh, again, everything's tied up real nice. You can also see emergency brake is all hooked up. So you've got your front cable, your J-hook, the intermediate cable, 
and your back cables all the way back to the rear drum brakes on the car. As far as finishing out the drive line, we've got this GM 10 bolt rear end. It's the eight and a half inch ring gear, so that's the big 10 bolt here. So again, that's gonna be nice and strong here on that rear end. Monoleaf rear suspension, again, just a regular set of shocks back here, but everything as far as suspension goes looks to be uh, pretty much all new on the car. Far as your exhaust work, we do have long tube headers starting at the front here. You've got this nice dual exhaust all the way back. You've got a set of Flowmaster style uh, mufflers here. I can't see a name brand. It might be up around the top there, but again, they're Flowmaster style mufflers. And then it's finished off in a set of uh, exhaust uh, tailpipes here that come out right between your mono leaf and the rear quarter panel of the car, just as it should be. Fuel tank itself looks to be all new. You can see your straps. Again, all of those look to be new. All the mounting hardware looks in great shape. As far as uh, finishing out running gear on the car, wheels and tires. We've got 15 inch Krager SS chrome wheels on this car. Again, they're 15 inch and on the, for tires, we have Cooper Cobra radial GTs. On the front, we've got a set of 215 70R15s. Just a slight stagger on the back with a set of 225 70R15s then back there as well. So that's pretty much it for underneath our 68 Camaro RS. We're going to get it down off the lift now, open the hood up, and get this thing fired up so you get to hear what it sounds like.